But sometimes, despite all of our efforts, cancer does come into our lives. And our next fallen star, actually, it came as a, quite a shock. She was only 48 years young when she passed. Born on March 6, 1964, Yvette Wilson is best known for her role as Andel Wilkerson on the TV shows Moesha and its successful spinoff, The Parkers, where Yvette played Monique's best friend. But Yvette's career was cut short when she was unexpectedly diagnosed with stage 4 cervical cancer and kidney disease. After a slight reprieve, unfortunately, the cancer came back aggressively, and Yvette passed away on June 14, 2012. She was only 48 years old. Wow, that's, that's really tragic. And you know, around the world, cervical cancer is the third most common cancer in women, but in the U.S., it's much more rare because uh, here we have such good screening guidelines. And so, you know, we don't know if Yvette Wilson actually, her cervical cancer was caused by HPV. It could have been another cause because there are other causes, even though HPV is responsible for 90% of cervical cancers. It's also with oral and anal cancer as well. And in my practice, and I'm really on the forefront of prevention, and you're with the cervical cancer, but on prevention, um, it's huge because if you get your pap smear, you really should be able to have procedures that will keep you from ever getting cervical cancer. And just as you know, cervical cancer right, is one of the more curable ones. It is curable if you catch it early. It is completely curable if you catch it early, Lisa. And the fact is, is that when it's not caught early, while we have treatments and successful treatments, and in some cases it can still be cured, it is so much harder to cure. So getting that pap smear as uncomfortable as it may be, as annoying it is to remember it all the time, that's really key. The other thing, as you've said, you can scrape the cells. I mean, the great news mm -hmm. is we can scrape the cells. We can see the HPV in the cells. Right. So we know the risk and we know when the cells are gone and the HPV is gone. But you then have to remember that you still have to practice safe sex because you don't want to get reinfected again, right? Mm -hmm. But the huge thing that we have now, because it's caused by HPV, is the HPV vaccine. And we can't stress enough that this is a vaccine that can really eradicate cervical cancer. Oh, it's so important. And people are thinking about, of course, it's, it's a vaccine against a virus, right? right. So you're thinking of it as a viral vaccine. This is a virus, uh, this is a vaccine against cancer, right? Mm -hmm. This is eradicating a cancer-causing virus. And there's been all kinds of, of debate, right, about, gee, are we... Uh, are we administering this kids and, to kids and allowing them to be promiscuous, mm -hmm. right? right? I mean, that's are one we... Of, that's one of the big resistances I see in parents to getting this vaccine. It, they kind of feel it's going to give their kids, maybe at 11 or 12, a license to go out and do whatever they want. Yes, it's a vaccine and, you know, to protect against cervical cancer. Yeah.